What's up everyone, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw the Parasaurolophus head from Jurassic World Dominion. So this picture was released by Colin Trevorrow, the director of Jurassic World 3 and it appears to be an animatronic dinosaur which is really cool, it's not CGI, it is in fact an actual like handcrafted yeah, animatronic. Um, so yeah, the equipment I'm going to be using today is a bunch of shading pencils, I got a bunch with me here, as you guys can see. I've got an eraser, a sharpener, and some paper. So get your materials out and we will begin with the outline. Alright, so the Parasaurolophus is going to be almost at a three quarters angle, so it's not exactly a side view, but it's not a front view either. So it's like half and half, so three quarters I'd say. Um, but yeah, I'll just sketch out make sure we can fit this all onto our paper. We're gonna make like a big, like almost like a rainbow shape there for the top of the head. Then we're gonna have, it's gonna have a big jaw. This neck is gonna come down here. It's really important to draw lightly in your outline I'm using just like an H pencil here. It's gonna have its like, its muzzle, its beak, whatever you wanna call it, <laughs> right here. That's the mouth. But yeah, it's got a very thick jaw for munching tons of leaves. So we're gonna see this nostril, and the eye is gonna be right about here. this like big horn that it's famous for. It's gonna be off in the distance. I'm gonna see a little bit more of the throat. So that's a pretty good outline, pretty decent. Um, but yeah, be sure to tweak your outline until it looks right and then you can um, begin putting in more details. So I'm going to continue the drawing using a 2B pencil which is a little bit darker it's like in the middle ground there, but yeah, a little bit darker than normal. And we're going to start working from left to right. Yeah, and this is not exactly a horn, by the way, guys. It's more like a head adornment. It's like a frill. I don't know what the right word would be to describe it. But it is definitely unusual. I think some people have, some scientists have talked about Parasaurolophus like used it to make noises or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah guys, the mouth here is gonna be kind of grainy, which means it's gonna have like lines all going in the same direction. It's gonna have the bottom jaw right about here. And this area is going to be quite shaded, so we can go ahead and do that right away. And if you guys are following along with a pen, that is totally fine, or with a mechanical pencil. I'd, I'd be using my mechanical pencil right now if it wasn't broken. I need to get another one. Um, so yeah guys, uh, whatever material you're using, it's probably fine. So yeah, continue the grains of the mouth. By the way guys, I'm so excited for Jurassic World Dominion to come out and just all the pre-movie hype is really my favorite part actually <laughs> about new Jurassic movies or any movie really. So it's like all the coming up with all the theories of what the movie's about, that's really fun. And all the leaked pictures. <laughs> As I said, this was leaked by, or not leaked, but put out by Colin Trevorrow and he directed the first Jurassic World movie which I thought was really good. It's probably one of my fa top one of my top 10 movies for sure. Okay, so we're going to have some little marks here. We want to make it look organic. I mean, whoever designed this animatronic head really did a good job cuz it looks super duper real. It's like crazy crazy realistic. Let's put in the nostril right out here. Very good. And then we're gonna have like a little bit of some wrinkles around the nostril. 
And of course, this whole head's just covered with scales, but we will save that for later. The head is going to be pretty smooth as it's curved. We can add a little bit of bumps here to make it look more yeah, organic. The backwards curving frill. It's kind of a slight knob at the end. And it's going to appear a little bit shorter just because of the angle we're looking at it. It's not an exact side angle, as I said earlier, so... That's, the perspective is going to make it look a little bit shorter than it actually is. I'm not the best at drawing perspective, by the way, guys, so... I hope this is not leading you astray. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. We might want to move on to the eye next. Looks like the obvious choice. This Parasaurolophus has a large eye. It looks, reminds me of a cow eye for some reason. Sharpen my pencil. Okay, I'll put a nice eyelid. Be sure to take your time when drawing eyes because that's a very important part of any animal or human or anything you're drawing. The eye is very important. We're going to put another wrinkle there. This is almost more like a brow, like a brow ridge. I'm going to put a wrinkle under the eye. Okay, that looks good. Now I actually have to draw the eyeball. Now this yeah, this eye has got very little light shining off of it, so I'm going to actually add something that's not in the reference image. Just add like a little square there to make it look like it's a little bit shinier. The pupil does take up almost the entire eye socket, which is kind of cool. It's like an orb. That looks very good. It looks alive. That's what we want. And uh, let's continue on. It's got a slight cavity here. You can't really notice it as much as you would like on a carnivorous dinosaur, but it is there. So let's take note of that. We yeah, very not. It's pretty shallow. So. We don't have to pay too much attention to that. We got to put a little bit more refinement lines to show the what the surface of the face is like. Back here, there's a lot of shading. So we'll put some of that in. And be sure to have your eraser on hand as well. I am notorious for creating a big mess when doing outlines. So an eraser at hand is always important. I also got this cool brush that I use just to sweep off the eraser remains. I think it's made of like boar hair or something. Like wild boars or something. <laughs> yeah. I honestly am not the best when it comes to art materials. I got a bunch that I've collected over the past few years, but I would like to experiment with a more vast variety in the future. I did some work with ink washes, which is fun, but I don't I don't really like using a brush. I like using a pencil or pen the best. Like just they feel better. Okay. So we got that shading done pretty nicely. Add some more curved lines. Moving our pencil up and down. They add some nice wrinkles there. So the face still looks pretty plain. It's got some cool, like, like a slight pattern going on here, so we'll put that in. It's got like a two stripes that go up to the eye. They almost make like a little arch. So we'll put those in to give it some more character. And this area here is all white in the picture, and this is like a brown color. And then there's like blue on the top, and there's these lines here are also blue. 
So you can make these lines a little thicker. And might as well add some little bumps and scales right above the eye. To give it some more, more of a realistic look. But yeah guys, I really want to be on it when that trailer comes out. I'm going to take all the screenshots I can from the trailer and start drawing. That's what I did in 2018, I just like take my favorite screenshots and then start drawing. They did such a good job keeping the Indoraptor a secret <laughs> in the trailer and stuff, you could barely see it. And I, everyone's probably wondering who's going to be like, what's going to be the bad boy in Jurassic World Dominion? Like, what's going to be the worst dinosaur that appears? We got no idea, but it looks like it's going to be like filmed and not just, obviously not just Isla Nublar because we have that picture of Owen riding on that motorbike and it looks like Middle Eastern, or yeah, it looks like not at all on a Costa Rican island, so that has got me excited. It's cool when movies go more international. <clears throat> so, yeah, the neck of Parasaurolophus is going to be kind of slender, definitely not like a carnivorous neck because you know, T Rexes had to have a really strong neck to pull meat out of carcasses and stuff like that. But this dinosaur just has to stoop over and collect ferns or whatever it was eating at the time. Let's create some wrinkles on the back of the neck here. I mean, Parasaurolophus is a really nice dinosaur. It's like one of those classic dinosaurs that always appears. Like if there's a set of plastic dinosaur toy toys, there's always going to be a Parasaurolophus. It's like iconic. So it's pretty cool that they're finally putting one in a Jurassic movie, even though I'm not sure if they've done that before. I just didn't notice it, but this is definitely the best looking Parasaurolophus that's come into the franchise. Okay, so add some veins. Add some shading. I gotta be careful because I don't want to start smearing all over paper like I normally do. I was actually looking back at some of my old videos and I used to, <laughs> for some of them I used to have like this clear sheet that I draw on top of and I was like, why don't I do that anymore? It's a good idea. It's like, it really helps. It's kind of cool to look back on my old, my old videos and be like, wow see where I've come, like my voice has changed so much since my first tutorials and stuff. I mean my talent, my like as far as drawing goes, I did really good drawings like three years ago and stuff. Um, I've gotten better at drawing in certain ways, but I was, yeah, definitely really good back then too, so. Not that I'm really, really good, I'm just saying, I was decent at drawing back in 2018 as I am now, so. I'd say I'm better at drawing, um, like, maybe like buildings and humans and other things that I've been doing for fun. I think I'm better at drawing those now than I was a few years ago, so. So the neck looks really good. I'm adding just some color here. Alright guys, I think we are getting close to being done with the overall like laying out of the of the face and everything. There's always little detailing and refining we can add on later. But I feel like that's almost optional, like you don't have to add a cabillion scales to make this dinosaur look good because it already looks pretty good. 
in my estimation. So I need a few more wrinkles. I've seen a bunch of dinosaur drawings that don't have like a single scale and they look pretty good. If you do enough like just wrinkling, wrinkle and texture lines. It's like an elephant, like an elephant looks, you can draw an elephant without, well it doesn't have scales, but you know, you can add that like elephant type skin to your dinosaur and it'll, it'll look fine. Also guys, comment below if Parasaurolophus is your favorite dinosaur. I'm really <coughs> always excited to see um, which dinosaurs you guys like the best. I'm really boring and just like T-Rex. I've liked it since I was little, so it's like, <laughs> there's really a bunch of cool dinosaurs that pop up here and there, but uh, good old Rexy has just always had a place in my heart, so. That's my favorite dinosaur, and I'd love to find out yours. The thing I like about T-Rex is that it's like been classic for the last 150 years. Like, it's been in pop culture for so long. It's like just dominated the dinosaur world. Like, scientists will bring up, like, Carcharodontosaurus and these other amazing discoveries, but they never really catch on. I mean, Spinosaurus did, just because of the spine, uh, the sail on its back. And I know a bunch of you guys like Spinosaurus. I also think it's really cool. I saw a skeleton when it was on, in 2017, National Geographic was touring it around the United States. So I saw it at a traveling exhibit. It's really, really cool, so... Yeah, Spinosaurus is just amazing too, so that, I know that's one, one of y'all's personal favorites as well. Triceratops is also pretty popular. I once got to meet the, by the way guys, I'm adding little scales right now, and little bumps. I got to meet the curator of the natural history museum in at the smithsonian in dc and his favorite dinosaur is a triceratops so i actually gave him a triceratops drawing <laughs> which is pretty cool and that was yeah that was back in 2018 so i still haven't gone on a real dinosaur dig so that's one of the things i really want to do it's on my bucket list to go out and even if you didn't find much it'd just be so fun to go out with all the equipment and go out to the desert or whatever L looking for dinosaurs is a really cool experience yeah the only fossils i've ever found are like shark teeth all right guys our parasaurolophus is pretty much done i might do a little bit of scales and stuff like that um with a time-lapse mode and I will see you guys at the end where we will sign our drawings. Alright guys, as you can see, I've added a bunch of scales to the Parasaurolophus head, and now the only thing left to do is sign our drawing, so I will do that right here in the corner. We're getting close to 2022, so exciting. But yeah, this is still 2021. And by the way guys, I actually, between filming this and the, and the scaling, I did watch the Jurassic World Dominion prologue, which I had not seen before, it's super cool. Um, the Giganotosaurus looks really, really neat, so I might uh, 
do a drawing of that in the future if you guys want. With that being said, I hope you guys all have a very Merry Christmas, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.